light. This light will shine. Yeah. And this holy nation, the people are commenting about already in the first week of January, all throughout this year, you'll be part of that holy nation. Yeah. And the strength of the Lord will be your joy. And the joy of the Lord will be your strength as well. And the good thing that has started in your life will continue in Jesus' name. We're looking at Exodus chapter Exodus chapter 19. Exodus chapter 19. And I'm reading from verse 4. Exodus chapter 19. We're reading from verse 4. Exodus 19 verse 4. Ye have seen what I, have, what I did unto the Egyptians, and how I bear you on eagles' wings, and brought you unto myself. Now therefore, if you will obey my voice indeed, we're going to obey and keep my covenant then you shall be a peculiar treasure unto me above all the people of the earth and then it says for all the earth is mine and you shall be unto me a kingdom of priests and an holy nation you'll be a holy nation in Deuteronomy chapter 14 Deuteronomy chapter 14 I'm reading from verses 1 and 2 ye are the children of the Lord your God say amen to that in verse 2, for thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. And the Lord has chosen thee to be a peculiar people unto himself above all the nations that are upon the earth. The Lord will perfect it in our midst. Isaiah chapter 26. Isaiah chapter 26. And I'm reading from verse 2. Isaiah 26, reading from verse 2. Open ye the gates that the righteous nation, where is the righteous nation? You are the righteous nation. We are the righteous nation. We are going to enter into God's blessing. Open ye the gates of the righteous nation which keepeth the truth may enter in. Thou shalt, thou will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is staged on thee because he Trusteth in thee, trust ye in the Lord forever. For in the Lord Jehovah is everlasting strength. It will be your strength. I said it will be your strength. Isaiah chapter 16 now. Isaiah chapter 60. I'm reading from verse 1. Arise and shine. This year, arise and shine. From this January, arise and shine. You will shine. You will outshine everyone around you. Arise and shine, for thy light is come. I said, Thy light is come. And the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth, but will not come near you. And gross darkness the people, but that will not be your portion. But the Lord shall arise upon thee. His glory shall be seen upon thee. The Gentiles will come to your light. Kings to the brightness of the rising. Lift up your eyes round about and see. All they gather themselves together. They come to thee. I said they are coming to you. Your sons shall come from afar. And your daughter shall be nursed at thy side. Your sons that left home and ran away, they will come back. Your daughters that ran away, they will come back. And then thou shalt see and flow together. Thine heart shall fear and be enlarged. Because the abundance of the sea shall be converted unto thee. And the forces of the Gentiles shall, be, shall come unto thee. The Lord is bringing blessing upon your life this year. And this year will be the best year you ever, ever lived in your life in Jesus' name. Showers of blessing. Showers of blessing. Showers of blessing will be upon your life. Ezekiel chapter 34. Ezekiel chapter 34. I'm reading to you from verse 26. Mark it in your Bible. This is your prophecy for the new year. Ezekiel chapter 34 verse 26 And I will make them and the places round about my hill a blessing And I will cause the shower to come down in a season There shall be showers of blessing There shall be showers of blessing 
there shall be upon your household, upon you, upon your life, upon your ministry, there shall be showers of blessing. Rise up and receive it. Rise up and receive it. It's yours. It's yours. It is yours today. It is yours today. Showers of blessing. Showers of blessing. Showers of blessing. Open your mouth now and talk to the Lord. Thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. It's a new year. It's a new year. You have a new name. You have a new nature. You have a new life. You have a new prospect. New. New. It is new. A new name. A son. A new name. A sheep. A new name. A star. A new name. You are salt. A new name. A servant of the Lord. A new name. A soldier of the cross. The Lord's glory shining upon your life. The goodness of the Lord shining upon your life. What a new day. What a new moment in your life. And what a new year in your life. Thank the Lord for that. Thank the Lord for that. And it says so be Hepsiba. My pleasure. My delight. Not forsaking. Not desolate. Marriage. Intimate. United in intimate fellowship with the Lord. Everything new. A new relationship. A new goodness. A new life. A new unity. United with the Lord, united with the church, united with the pastor, united with the leaders, or the coordinators and the group coordinators and the pastors and the overseers. United. In a new relationship of fellowship. Then now you have a new name. And the Lord has turned everything around in your life. And you tell the Lord, oh Lord, I need abundance of your grace. Lord, I need abundance of your righteousness. Lord, I need abundance. Of everything you want me to be this new year. Be a son. Be a son. Don't be a stranger. Be a son. Don't be a sinner. Be a son. Don't be a stubborn, stubborn, rebellious fellow in the church this year. Be a son. And live with daddy as a son. Talk to daddy as a son. Live with mommy as a son. Talk with mommy as a son. Relate with brothers and sisters as a son in the family. Daughter in the family. Be a sheep, not a goat. Be a sheep, not a goat. Not a wolf. Not a lion. Not a serpent. Be a sheep. Character, be a sheep. Behavior, be a sheep. Lifestyle, be a sheep. Meek, lowly, gentle, humble, teachable, pliable, flexible. In the hands of the Lord, be a sheep. Be a saint. Not a sinner. Not a backslider, not a fornicator, not an idol worshiper, not an adulterer, not covetous, not evil. Be a saint, righteous, holy. Pure, sanctified, 
be a sage, be salt, be sweet, be salt, be sweet. You are a committee, remain sweet. You are talking to a sister, be sweet. You are talking to a brother, be sweet. You are interacting with the leadership, be sweet. Not sour. Not poisonous. Not insulting. Not abusive. Not fierce. Not angry. Not provoking others. Be sweet. Be a soldier of the cross. A soldier of the cross. Be a soldier of the cross. Enduring hardness, enduring hardship as a soldier of the cross. Be a servant of the Lord. A servant of the Lord must not strive, but be gentle unto all men. Be a servant, be a servant. Be submissive. Be lowly. Be meek, be humble, be a servant, be obedient, be a servant, be useful, be a steward, and be a star, be a star this new year, turning many unto righteousness. Be a star, turn in man into righteousness. Tell the Lord, I'll grant you that new nature. Make you a new creature in Christ. Old habits pass away. Old stubbornness pass away. All sinfulness pass away. Old corruption pass away. Old lifestyle pass away. And all things become new. Be a new creature. Have a new heart. Stony heart is gone. The stubborn heart is gone. The hardened heart of Pharaoh is gone. The race is surgical oppression, spiritual oppression, supernatural oppression. And the stony heart is cut off, taken away. Have a new spirit. Have a new spirit. Come into the new covenant relationship. New covenant relationship. New covenant relationship. And let the Lord put his law in your heart. So you are no more lawless. You are no more lawless. You are no more lawless, you are law abiding. Let him give you the new tongue. Not just the black, black, black tongue. A tongue of love, a love, a tongue of mercy, a tongue of compassion. New tongue. New conversation, new communication. A new tongue. Merciful tongue, understanding tongue, 
controlled tongue, cleansed tongue, a new tongue, soothing tongue, comforting tongue, convincing tongue. And live by the new, new commandment of love. The new commandment of love. The new commandment of love. And be part of the new nation. Part of the new nation. Part of the new nation. Holy nation. Holy nation. Holy nation. That the holiness of the Lord, the righteousness of the Lord, the grace of the Lord, the gentleness of the Lord, the goodness of the Lord be upon your life. A holy nation. A holy nation. That the Lord effect the change. In your heart, in your life, in your nature, in your spirit. New man for the new year. New name in the new year. New nature in the new year. A new nation in the new year. That all things become new. All things become new. All things in your life. All things in your heart. All things in your family. All things everywhere. All around you. Becoming new. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. A new year, amen. amen. A new mass, amen. amen. A new nature, amen. amen. This year is going to be new. Amen. I said this year is going to be new. Amen. Are you ready? Yes. I said, are you ready? Raise up those good hands, wonderful hands, new, new hands. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord, because we know you are a wonderful God. You have spoken good things concerning us this new year. Every child here, every youth in this church, every brother, every woman, every man in this church, oh Lord, we pray this year will be a new year in Jesus' name. All the old things that follow us of the new year, I command them now. Come out in Jesus' name. Old sickness, come out in Jesus' name. Old medical report, come out in Jesus' name. Old failure, come out in Jesus' name. Old attacks and affliction, come out in Jesus' name. Old barrenness, oh Lord, I pray, everything will be crushed and cancelled. This will be a new year of success, a new year of promotion, a new year of prosperity, a new year of all the grace of God and the glory of God in Jesus' name. The old enemies of the old year, old people that are attacked in the old year, old affliction of the old year, there will be no affliction this year for you. The affliction will not rise the second time. All that affliction, all that enmity, all that curse, all that evil, I command you, come out in Jesus' name! Any demon hiding anywhere, any evil spirit hiding anywhere, these are the renewed and the new people of God. And I command every demon, every evil spirit, every power of darkness, come out in Jesus' name! And I pronounce freedom for everyone. Deliverance for everyone. Those brothers and sisters that have, they have walked and walked and walked and yet there's no success and there's no money living from hand to mouth. All that old poverty. I command you, come out in Jesus' name! 
taking exam once or twice or three times a child of God. How can that be? All that failure. All that failure. I said all that failure. I command that all failure. Come out in Jesus' name. Oh, you see that a child of God will get married the first year. We expect there should be a baby, at least a baby, if not a twin, if not twins. And then one year, two years, three, seven years, eight years, no child. How can that be? We'll reject that this year. And all that barrenness of the old year, of the old time, I command you, barrenness, come out in Jesus' name. And right now, brothers and sisters who are married, receive your miracle children in Jesus' name. And the brothers and sisters, uh, 27, 28, 35, 38, 39, 